Tens of thousands of students from mainland China flocking to Hong Kong to take the SAT exam in the hopes of being admitted to an American university. And the growing trend has resulted in a boom in business for exam venues as well as hotels. And our correspondent, our Hong Kong correspondent, Leslie Tang, checks it out. From stocking up on milk powder to splurging on gold trinkets, mainland Chinese tourists are flocking to Hong Kong for hard-to-find items. Now here's another growing trend. With rising wealth in China, more parents are looking to give their offspring an American education. And Hong Kong is increasingly becoming a stepping stone for that. Asia World Expo is the main venue in Hong Kong for SAT exams, which are a requirement for U.S. university applications. It's expecting to play host to 50,000 students by the end of the year, 90% of them from mainland China. Last year we saw uh, uh, over 20% uh, increase in our activity and it was our third consecutive year where we're experiencing that sort of high growth. And uh, the primary factor is actually the, the um, in increase uh, of delegates or in this case uh, exam examination attendees, examinees uh, coming to Hong Kong. They head to Hong Kong as the SATs are only conducted in international schools in China. This is one of the exam halls where students spend about four hours taking the SAT. Now obviously we couldn't film while the actual exam is taking place. And it's serious business, with some students coming a whole day early just to scope out the venue. Among them, 18-year-old Chen Mengyao from Beijing. She's aiming to get a perfect score of 2400 hoping to attend Rice University. When you take some uh, the test uh, in a place where you are familiar with, you always think you can make a better score. <laughs> During this exam, a crowd of anxious parents waited while their children took the test. They said forking out the cash for test fees, airfare and accommodation is worth it in the name of an overseas education. What is your feeling? Uh, there was an obvious sense of relief when these 7,000 students rushed out of these doors after the exam. I don't want to take SAT anymore. But some others are planning to do it again in December to boost their chances of getting into a U.S. university. I can, I can uh, learn more. The more I'm from from all over the world and develop my perspective. With the SAT being held six times a year internationally, it's created a mini peak season for the Sky City Marriott Hotel, which is just walking distance from the exam venue. When this happens, SAT, we run about 90 plus percent because we have all the mainlanders coming down as a family, you know, to take the exams. So you have the parents, the grandparents sometimes coming down with their child, right, to take the exams, to support them for it. So it seems exam stress can be good business as well. Leslie Tang, Channel News Asia, Hong Kong.